PCP still scan. In this scan, Nmap will going to instead follow three-way handshake. A two-way handshake will be follow. The two-way handshake will be as follow. Nmap will going to send first sync packet to the destination, and as soon as the sync plus acknowledgement packet is received, a reset packet would be sent. The reset packet will going to close the communication instead establish a connection. The specific scan is also known as a stealth scan because the communication never happened and there is a low chances of any kind of logging over the destination system. Nmap has an argument of hyphen S capital S for scanning with the stealth scan or a sync scan. I'll be scanning my target and also as follow I'll be using a Wireshark to identify the communication. I'll be choosing ETL0 for listening. Again, I'll be focused on specific to port 8 because I'm aware that port number 80 is already open. The communication is done and as shown in this picture, Nmap will going to find a port open when a sync plus acknowledgement packet is received. When the packet is not received, Nmap will going to understand that the specific port is closed. Here, let's see how. The first port number 80 and on port number 80, source has been sent it sync packet destination has returned a sync with acknowledgement packet which is enough to prove that yes the, com the destination port is open and map will later send a reset packet to break the communication let's take a port which is closed entirely from the earlier we know that port number 20 is closed and Let's check the output. Here, as soon as the source has sent a sync packet, destination returned with the reset packet, saying that the port is closed. The scan is pretty much faster than the normal TCP connect scan. The TCP connect scan follows the three-way handshake, which is quite longer than the two-way handshake, 